the Blackmagic ATEM switches can be controlled in two ways. You can either use an application running on your Mac or your PC. It's a free piece of software from Blackmagic and it will allow you full access to all the features of the Blackmagic ATEM switches, which I have one of here, as you can see, hooked up with some cameras. There is another option. You can also use the Blackmagic broadcast panel and obviously I'm uh, too poor to actually own one of these. Um, but it looks like this. And I still would like to have some hardware buttons to control my switches, which is why I have developed this little module. So this is the Skarhoi C50 control panel. And it's working with an Arduino board, as you can see here, connected to the ATEM switcher. Apart from the C50 module, I also have another product, which is the C100 module. And the C100 has the same buttons, but it has also a slider and a display and some knobs you can adjust settings. But in this video, I'll demonstrate the C50 module. I hooked up the C50 module right now, so you can see the module here and connected to an Arduino. The Arduino in turn is connected to a switch, which has Ethernet access to the ATEM switcher over here, and there's power as well. And uh, what you see is that we have inputs 1 through 8 right here, and there's a nice indication of the tally situation. We have currently input 3 on preview and input 5 on program, which corresponds to the multi-viewer, which you see in the background right here. So let's uh, change input 2 to preview, input 1 preview, input 6 to preview. I have a cut button right here. So now I make a cut between the two, as you can see. And that's the basic functionality of this module. In addition to just cutting between the inputs when you select them here, we have integrated yet another feature because on input 8, as we can see right here, we have the laptop. And when I go from a live camera to a computer picture, I like to have the uh, mix transition used instead of just a plain cut. Cuts are usually, in my opinion, better between cameras, but to a computer picture, we use a mixed transition. This is integrated. So right now, when I'm switching between two cameras, camera five and six, it's just a plain cut, as you can see. But when I select input eight on my controller, the VJ input, the cut button automatically creates a mix. And I can even go to another camera input, like camera one on preview. And again, if I press the cut button, because we go from eight, which is computer, to one, it will again, now notice up here, it will create a nice mix. If you have been recording conferences, you know that it's often useful to show the slide of a presenter along with the close-up picture of the presenter himself. And with the ATEM switcher, you can do it using one of the upstream keys along with the digital video effects processor built into the ATEM switcher. The problem is that it's a multi-step process to get the picture-in-picture -picture appearing, both when you switch to the slide and when you leave the slide again. But this is all integrated in the one button push in this panel. Let me show you what I mean. First of all, we have currently camera one and camera six on program and preview, and we have the slide on camera eight. So when I press this button, instantly you see we go to the slide along with the picture in picture of the presenter, for instance, and when I press the button again, we go back to the camera angle we were on before, and the picture in picture is gone, all in a one button push. Of course, you can enable picture in picture for other purposes as well. So we have also the picture in picture button right here. And if you press that, we have picture in picture appearing down here, not connected with the slide or anything. But the important part is that the picture in picture you see it was faded in. And this is very difficult to do manually with the ATEM switcher because there's no way you can um, just enable one of the upstream keys with a nice mix transition. So when I push this button, it actually combines five operations into one. First of all, it, it remembers 
what input was on preview. Then it changes preview to the current program. It also enables the next transition function. Then it does an auto mix transition, which will basically mix between two inputs which are exactly the same and therefore you see no change in the background image, but the, the Kia image is faded in. After that, we disable the next transition function and we bring back the, the input that was in preview before. So five operations into one. So notice, five operations will give you the functionality you see right there. The final two buttons in the user button array right here is just to make an auto transition or just disable picture in picture and then what, I, what happens is that I press the auto button and you see it, it corresponds to an automatic mix transition and also you have the mix transition up here. So that's the auto function. We have also possibility of enabling the downstream key. So if I do this, it just brings up a logo I have in the media store, which is enabled by bringing on air the downstream Kia one. One of the real cool things about the C50 panel or the C100 panel, which I still have right here, the big brother, is that you have all the runtime functionality at your fingertips when you're operating an ATEM switcher. It's the things that you want to be able to instantly switch to another input or do a auto transition or enable the picture-in-picture -picture functionality as I have demoed. But all the management of settings of the upstream, downstream keys, the color generators, or uploading media and selecting media might be better done from a laptop, even maybe with a co-pilot of your production, while the um, producer can just operate the buttons right here. Another very important thing about this panel is that it's open hardware. And by open hardware and open software, I mean that you can download all the schematics, the board designs, the software which is currently used to produce the functionality I just showed you. And you can create your own printed circuit boards. You can also buy some of mine if you like to do it yourself. You can order the buttons on the internet. You can have plastic panels made or you can buy mine if you like and you can assemble it yourself. And one of the advantages of this is that you can get exactly the functionality that you like. You can see that I created something here which is useful for my typical applications. You can create your own controls which might also control other things than just the ATEM switcher. And a single button push could send a command to the ATEM switcher and to another piece of hardware in one go. And that's one of the benefits of open hardware. One of the reasons why I created the C50 module is because I love to be in control of things myself and to make things myself, of course. This gives me the opportunity of getting exactly the functionality that I need. And I'm not just talking about how I programmed the buttons, which commands it sends to the ATEM switcher. It's also about how it integrates in everything else around me. So for instance, you can imagine that you want to build your own 19 inch rack unit where the C50 would be a part of it. And um, with one of the default front plates, it actually fits into a rack unit quite easily. So this plastic box has um, the possibility of hosting this module. You can put the lid on top again. And you can imagine that you have other modules with other functionality that fits your purpose mounted just next to. So your own rack units for whatever you need. You can also imagine that you want it mounted into furniture, so cut a hole in a, in a plate and screw it in there. Or if you want one of the other front panels that I have by default, it's this one which has holes for mounting in a 19 inch rack and allows you to just put it on the side of such a rack like over here. Finally, I would like to show you how we are using it in some uh, custom-made rack units hosting the ATEM switch on the one side and on the other side we have the SmartView Duo from Blackmagic along with the C50 module with the buttons so we can operate the ATEM switcher directly from there. Very cool and useful. So what if you're not the do-it-yourself type?
Is there still hope to use this technology? And in fact, there is. Because the one option, and only one of the options, is that you download all the information needed to create this yourself. But you can also ask a consultant like me, and this is in fact how I make money, that is by helping people to implement open hardware and open software solutions. So just give me a call or send me an email if you want to work with me on creating your customized solution.